Hi everyone. And so yeah, everything is finished on this side here for the last time. Um, I'm really happy of how everything turned out here. The bathroom, kitchen, mum is busy giving the baby some food. And the inner living room is the two children watching some TV on their new smart TV. And there's dad busy trying to do some renovating on the house. I think he must leave that job to me. I would rather do it. But yeah, that which brings me to the next part of the house. So yeah, now at last I can start here by this part, the, the bathroom and then the daughter's room. But yeah, as always, I've changed my mind. And um, I was thinking to myself, well, I wanted most in the first place a bathroom here in the back for the daughter's for the daughter own bathroom. And then this would have been then the guest bathroom and the little boy's bathroom. And I thought to myself, but I've got a guest bathroom here underneath. So the only one that will use this bathroom then is actually the boy. So why do I need the bathroom here? Because there will be three bathrooms on this level here. So then I've decided, okay, um, like in any normal household, the children is sharing the bathroom. So I'm not going to put the bathroom in the daughter's room. I'm going to make this bathroom bigger. So yeah, it was a big story again to take off. I need to add it to take off all the, the um, this part here and even take off the, the leather at the back because or, like you see most I put nails in the wall so yeah but at least i've got this one um this wall down here and and i'm going to move it uh, well it's about eight centimeters to this side so the daughter's room is going to be smaller now but this bathroom is going to be bigger that will eventually make it easy as well for the steps that i'm still deciding on how to put my steps in so now my bathroom is going to have a bath. Um, yeah, this is my bath in here. It's the same as in the parents' bathroom. This one is just a bit smaller. And I'm going to put a shower here in the corner. The reason why, oops, this pipe is loose. Because I'm thinking of using this for the floor tile here in the bar or the floor in the bathroom. So I'm trying to take it off as nice as possible. So yeah, so then... Um, because this bathroom is going to be bigger, it's going to make the daughter's room like a very long room, and which I don't really like. But then I decided, okay, so in the back, I'm going to put her wardrobe here at the back, and maybe like a vanity or her study table or something. But so um, with the um, wardrobe and whatever here, I'm going to move the room in a bit closer, so it will be more... A bit more square so yeah so we'll still have a big room but not in just as because what it well i actually thought there's no need for her to have such a big room but i'm i'm glad i changed my mind um luckily i've got this little um was my previous tv stand i made or tv cupboard so i'm going to use this in the bathroom yeah then for um so i've got that already and then I've got this little, um, well, it's like, a, it's, a, it's a toilet, but you get like a, 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 that slimy stuff story inside this um, for the children to play with. But I'm going to use this, I'm just going to spray it white, obviously, and I'm going to use this in the bathroom here. So there's going to be more than enough space for everything and for the children to share the bathroom. So yeah, I'm going to first just fix the everything up here again, fix the move this wall now and um, fix the back of the house again. And then, okay, so I'll be back. Okay, about law thought and all of that, I actually decided to make a total new wall here because um, this wall was well, obviously lower, so I had to make it high anyway. And I actually wanted to move the door so yeah i made a whole new wall and i'm not going to use this wallpaper as well anyway i did manage to salvage the wallpaper on the um, bathroom side because i wanted this wood wallpaper here um just a little bit thinner but yeah of course i'm going to put that on the floor 
it was previously on the wall here and actually there as well but now because i um changed the walls it was gone but i still that is one where my original idea of this bathroom started was with this wallpaper and i wanted to use it so now i'm going to use it on the floor where i actually think it would look better than it was on the walls and I got almost all the furniture sorted out here um okay i'm just going to sp spray this toilet i'm going to spray it white and put it a bit up in the air because i must think of everyone's height like the bathroom i i also just use this wooden blocks to lift the bathroom a bit um i will paste that and then um that, so that's fine for the boy and um not too too high for him and it's not too low for her and then even obviously the, by the toilet as well i put the wooden block just to put a bit in the edge so it can be the right height for the boy but also like we um the parents so like mom also can can use the toilet so it's not too low for them again okay yeah the um bath uh, the basin here by the bath uh, is a bit too high for the boy but i've got it managed i have this little chair i'm just going to sp uh, make spray br brown out the whole chair and um when he's not using it just put it in the shelf yeah so yeah that's sorted out so he can stand on a chair when he is working or using the bathroom yeah and then i'm not going to put a whole mirror like in the parents room i'm just going to put this one here um in a frame i'm going to make a frame and i'm going to spray this um white i've got an idea how i want to spray it because i want to make this room obviously um now that's like this turquoise color and then this copper type of brown that's what i'm going to use in the bathroom so there i'm going to spray this counter here i don't know if you can see but i make an example yeah i tried it there but it was just too much just white with a um, splatter of um that copper so it worked a bit here um i don't know if you can see but yeah on the floor as well i did a bit so that's actually what i want there and I'm thinking of putting this little cupboard from that 1 to 12 scale furniture here on top of the um, toilet here. And, and also going to make it the same color as this counter here. Then. And then this is the zinc basin. And I will sort out the taps later and the knobs for all the doors and that stuff. Okay, so this floor here actually got damaged a lot because I moved this wall here twice. Um, so yeah, it's got a lot of holes in that but luckily i had another tile here so i just put another new tile here in front i didn't worry about the bathroom because also, like i said i'm going to put this on the floor there so you won't see that anyway and then i'm just going to use a little piece of that to cover this um gap that's here just paste that down because if i have to take this part off um it's just this come off easy from the well, I don't know from the tiles, but from the cardboard, it comes up easily. But yeah, I just want to hide that little thing there. So I'm going to put that there. Okay, this is the um, all the papers and tiles and everything I sorted out for this bathroom. Like I said, um, it actually started by this color. Yeah, I wanted to use this color and I thought, okay, well, this and the turquoise would look nice together. So that was my original idea of the, for this bathroom. So this I'm, I'm going to put on the floor and I'm going to put this in the shower. So I want to put it on the whole wall here at the back for the shower and the bath. But I'm not going to have enough. So I'm just going to put like a, a border around the bath and then this. But now this is not going to be enough for this wall and that wall and then a little piece there on top. So I'm going to incorporate this one here that looks like concrete but a coppery concrete i'm going to use that on the back wall there by the shower and then this turquoise just on the side walls and then i'm going to put this um for the floor for the um, shower that's coming here in the corner so i'm going to use this for the floor and then i want all the stuff to be um chrome so i've got this um, foil or lumen um tape here I'm going to cover um, for the sidings for the um, shower. I'm going to just use this bamboo stick and I'm going to cover that with chrome. So all the finishings will be 
like chrome and, and silver. Um, maybe the, the taps and that stuff. And then I've got a little box full of little trinkets that I made. It's like like my Justin bag. It now turned into a Justin bucket. So maybe there's stuff here that I will use. Um, I don't know for what. Um, maybe like something like this for in the shower. Or I will see that. And then the materials for carpets and towels. And maybe this because of the colors for a blind. I, I'm not sure yet in a bath carpet. And yeah, but that is all the ideas I've got um, for this bathroom. So that's the most of the stuff sorted out. And then I go obviously along the line. I will change my mind here and there. And um, I will um, add stuff and all that stuff. But yeah, enjoy the video. So yeah. Let's get started.
at last the walls is finished so now I'm going to start with the shower and all the stuff but I don't like that this is all almost the same color there is no um, I'm, I'm actually sorry that I didn't have enough of this paper but I've got this little ribbon here that um, got the colors in that I'm going to put in this bathroom so I'm going to use that as a border here I'm just going to put it inside here and all around here as a border so I think it will look actually nice so I'm going to use that and then the other problem is I did my measurements wrong here I don't know how but now I don't like that that is showing there so I want to lift this up so um actually the thickness of just a plain piece of balsa wood is more than enough to put underneath here but I'm going to um, cover it with a light um, linen foil um, that it's sticky so I'm going to use that and then just paste it underneath there so it for the silver on the bottom and it's going to lift it just the right height a bit so it can be against that there and then for the shower I'm going to um, take that um, bamboo stick I have gonna cover it with that this um, sticky foil that I had and gonna use this um, because I don't have long enough clear plastic so I'm gonna use it that I normally use for the windows in the bathroom and just put that between that well, obviously the holes inside and I'm gonna just place that between there for the shower here and even for the door so the door I'm going to also place two of that and then another two for the door um, which I'm going to use the hinges to um, so you can open the door I'm going to put that in the inside of the shower and I'm even going to use the same bamboo stick I'm um, just short obviously shorter covered with this foil I'm going to put it around the um, shower here for the you know, like, like the bucket in the shower so yeah and then after that i will um figure out um my taps and the shower head and all that so um yeah let's then carry on <music>
Okay, I think that is enough for today now. Um, the shower is in, all the stuff. Now it's just um, searching or looking for ideas for the, the, the taps and the, the shower head and the stuff that must come inside the bathroom. But yeah, that is for next time. So, bye.